I've moved apartments in Korea four times now, and now we're moving again for the fifth time. However, the stakes are higher as we're not just searching for a sanctuary for my husband and I to call home, but for a home that we can start a family in and go from two to three. This process has not been an easy one, so I certainly hope that you enjoy watching me struggle with expectations and reality and ups and downs more than I enjoyed experiencing it. <laughs> now let's get into this roller coaster of a week. It's been some really difficult days for me. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous for saying that. I'll tell you in a moment, but I've been crying for days. <laughs> And to top it up with, it's so gloomy outside, it just doesn't exactly help. It's about the apartment, guys. It has been a royal poop show. You know, I said we had found the perfect apartment. We really did. We found, I think, my dream apartment for what was supposed to be the next chapter of our lives, for what we were supposed to start a family in. And it is completely our fault that we did not research and talk with the banks beforehand because I think we were so caught up in the fact that we've done really really well for ourselves over the past two years so we we're like ah, of course we can get the loan that we want to get but okay well one I'm a foreigner I'm not allowed to take a loan you know the deposits here in Korea are so big that's why you kind of need to take a loan Jake's company started last year so it has not yet been a full finance year so he can't prove that he's been doing well. <sighs> and because of that, my friends, we have been so stressed because we found someone to take over this apartment without having an apartment to move into. So we're on a time limit to find a better apartment and to find something that we would like to move into and, and start a family in. And I'll tell you more details about that in a moment because we need to head out. I have an apartment listing that I have to go to see alone because Jake is at work and it's starting very soon so i need to head out so i'll tell you a little bit more about the details but the whole point of the story is that i have been feeling like poop for the last many days and i've been crying myself to sleep <laughs> i'm a very dramatic person yes let's head out <laughs> Okay, the real estate agent called me and said that um, he's going to be an hour late so i'm going to grab some coffee first maybe tell you a little bit more about what happened <sighs> also i changed my shirt i just for some reason i could not get the red to match today so let's go see oh my gosh i barely got one sip of my matcha latte before he texted that he was already there so now i'm just hurrying over to the apartment complex to be honest, the first one that I'm going to see today, I'm going to see one at 5 p.m. as well with Jake. One at 5 p.m. I'm really positive about. It's a bit more expensive than the one I'm seeing now, but still, it's so beautiful. Um, but the one I'm seeing now also seems very good, but it just seems a tad bit dark on the photos. So yeah, I am, am excited, but not very hopeful for this one. <sighs> Let's see. It's, it's very dark. It's very worn down, it seems, especially the kitchen. And for someone who really want to be in the kitchen more than what I am, I just really need something that's just good. And that also makes me feel just a tad bit ridiculous because this is a great house. This is considered a really high quality, beautiful house. And it's in a very, uh, we're probably not going to go with it, so I can say where it is. It's Ipyeonan Sezang in Yongsan. It's a gorgeous apartment complex and a lot of people would be so happy to live there so i feel like a terrible person for being so picky about it and like allowing myself to feel sad that we just can't find a house that i'm satisfied with i feel so bad for jake as well because he actually really liked this one i think this guilt that i'm carrying right now is exactly why i told you this morning that i was feeling really like 
terrible for, for having been so sad these days because it's 100% just me battling my expectations for when we decided to move out. I obviously thought that we would have different circumstances when it came to loan and such and we can't get that. There are a lot of different options for loan. There has to be when there is this system where the deposit is so big. People keep asking me if if I'm lying or not about these deposits and I'm not lying guys. The deposits are usually for this size of apartments between 75,000 US dollars to like all the way up to half a million US dollars. Like that's extremely normal for this size apartment in a quote-unquote newer high-rise apartment complexes which is what we want to do like my expectations was just was big then when we were told we can't get the loan right now i got so sad because i thought that that meant that we would have to go and live in like a very much older villa so it's a lower house which means probably not going to have any sunlight and it's going to be dark and old <laughs> and i was scared for that because i feel like i've been there done that in my time here in korea yeah so it just it felt like even though i was like moving forward in life it just felt like i had to step back either way like take a step back in the progress that i wanted to make in life and i feel so ridiculous for being so disappointed about that because in this economy like don't we all have to step back somehow or another like so that's why i have a lot of guilt for feeling sad about this because i'm still in an incredibly privileged situation good thing is which is why i'm no longer crying in my house jake found out that um there actually is possibilities for us to negotiate some of these types of houses um so that we can pay more in monthly rent and then not have to put literally 100 percent of our savings into a deposit so that's what we're gonna do As we walked into this apartment at 5 p.m., Jake and I, we looked at each other and we immediately fell in love. Walking in made us feel so at home and it's weird to say, but I think it's because a lot of the design aspects of this house is extremely similar to where we live now and it just felt like our home, you know what I mean? I don't know what to say guys, I felt extremely anxious standing in this house because I just wanted to tell them yes immediately, but we needed them to bring the price down a little bit and that would be determining whether or not we would be able to take this house or not, so I was anxious because I loved it and it also made me scared because last time I loved the house I was so heartbroken because I fell in love and it wasn't possible. Oh. I just don't even know what the frick to say right now. <laughs> I wish you could feel how this feels inside my body right now. It feels like a huge weight that has been on my shoulders and it's just been lifted off. <laughs> we found our dream next home, guys. Oh, I have really been taking my time yesterday and today to really sit in thankfulness. I am not 
brushing over this the universe did some mad tricks here and we need to appreciate it so cozy girls Cecil is going to be a basic Legugin. we're moving to Yongsan <laughs> what I go to Yongsan all the time but I take a bus there and just even to imagine that I can live there is just Oh, thank you, universe. You know what's crazy? The house that we found was in this apartment complex and we thought it was the absolute best that we could do. To be honest, I want to show you a photo of the view of it. It was so beautiful. It was just nature view and no one could go in front of it. It was fully private and it just, it made me so happy. And I think like the reason why the universe or the creator or God or whatever you want to call it, put us on some other path i think it was trying to tell us to get the hell out of this area like start to get out of our comfort zone when we moved in here we were really scared that we financially weren't wouldn't be able to pay the rent or no we weren't scared that we weren't going to be able to pay the rent but that it would be a challenge like we would work for it and we would save every month but we moved in here and that pressure I think forced us to grow. We're, 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 we're moving somewhere where I feel like we're also taking a step up that's also really hella uncomfortable because like this rent, I'm just gonna say it, it's too expensive for me. The only reason why we can move in there is because of Jake. <laughs> Which is funny because the only reason why we could move in here was because of me. So it's just, it's fun. Like now this is a challenge for me, this, ne this next step. And I feel like it's a challenge for me to get out of my comfort zone of this area into a new area that is more expensive and i'm gonna be pushed to my limits <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna figure it out i'm sure anyways that was a bit of a ramble i just really wanted to tell you how happy i am <laughs> anyways here is my outfit i'm wearing a gani shirt and the damson matter um vest i feel so cute i could not find my smaller hoops so big hoops it is we're heading out up to old seoul because we're seeing carrie today i haven't seen her in a while so and let me know what you think about this thing. I might be getting like a proper little mic then that I could hold. I feel like the sound is just a bit better. So guys, let's head out and have a celebratory day today and see Carrie. Goodbye. I love you. took Carrie to get more bookmarks. I got, <laughs> Carrie also ended up getting one. I actually finally asked her, I wasn't really sure if it was something that she made herself. It's her daughter who makes them. Everything in there is handmade. The bookmark is so cute. I got like, I got three different colors and then one extra in a pink for Hattie, because Hattie likes the pink ones. <laughs> Carrie gave me this book called The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by XCO. Look how beautiful this cover is. I think it's it's a fantasy book based on a Korean fable or Korean fairy tale, I think. Something like that. It's based in Korea, basically. Thank you, Carrie. That is so sweet. You know what other Carrie she suggested me? She said, she was like, Cecil, you should start a book YouTube channel. I have, I'm not gonna lie, I have been thinking about it um, just because it's literally the only content I consume right now and I am, you know, you know I'm obsessed with books. I had a little bit like, ah, no, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna like, like that's, that's Carrie's thing here in Korea. Like C Carrie and I, I think we have very similar video aesthetic. Like we just have very similar, I think like very similar aesthetic, very similar ways to capture things and that just comes down to like our creative similarities, I think. But I, I always thought, I was like, when I was thinking about starting a book channel, I was like, oh, I can't do that because like, that's her space. I want that to give her, but I talked with her about it after she suggested me to do it. And I was like, she was so sweet. She's like, no, what the hell? You should do it. There's space for us all. And it was so sweet. And it just felt nice to geek about books with Carrie. So yeah, I'm excited to see this. 
also. I went crazy in that handmade store. Okay, let me show you this one. Basically, I had this bookmark that I got from that store. It's just so convenient. You open it like that and it just sits in the page that you went to. And I just, I love how it is. This is a traditional Korean chrysanthemum knot. I've been so in love with it that I got several more. She had a new color when I went, which was this green one. Look how gorgeous that is. And I got a soft pink one that I really liked as well. And then a blue one. Oh, and I got an extra pink one for Hati. I think she's gonna like that. <laughs> I feel like I might be very extra because the reason why I got so many different colors is because I want to match them to the book that I'm reading. <laughs> I make so much effort into like creating things around me aesthetic. It just makes me so happy. And I know that people are like, oh, people who make too much of effort like that, then it makes life fake. I disagree so much. Unless you're delusional and you choose to ignore everything that's not pretty in the world, that's probably a bit toxic. But seriously, just making an effort to put beauty around you in the world, I think is just is so special. It makes me very happy. So little things like this makes me happy. Although I just spent like 30 bucks on this, I, you know. I'm happy. Let's change these into the books that I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading the tandem read for Throne of Glass, meaning that I read two books at once because they happen at the same time. Um, so I'm reading a couple of chapters at a time in between each other. So this is gonna take a freaking long time to read and I am already tired of it. <laughs> uh, maybe this will make it a bit more enjoyable with some cute bookmarks. Let's put them in. Winter Wonderland is making me so happy. It's so beautiful, guys. So happy I finally got to visit that cafe that I've been wanting to visit for literally forever. Yes. Now I'm heading to do some grocery shopping at my favorite place to grocery shop in all of Seoul. It's um, in Galleria, which is under 91, which is hands down the most luxury apartment complex there is in Seoul, I would say. <sighs> grocery shopping in luxury apartment complexes are a luxury experience, I'm telling you. This is like an OCD person's dream here. They literally have someone to go and make sure everything looks great. Success, we're making pasta and pesto tonight. <laughs> ovulation test that's the first time in my whole life i've seen two clear red lines <laughs> it made me emotional i was like this is this is how it's gonna look like when i'm pregnant and i got so emotional that's good. Carry on. you want to see ovulating baby you have an egg <laughs> feels good anyway no one can tell me that this isn't the best rita sport chocolate no one. It is so good. Reading Throne of Glass now, and I'm really sad for 
feeling that way because I was actually starting to really really like it. These are just too slow, these two books. I feel like they're too thick and like every single book in this series just gets thicker and thicker the longer you get into it and I feel like it's never ending. I just want to finish this so that I can read some spice to be honest because I, I don't know like I think it's because I really like when there's like a slow burn romance. Not that spice is necessary, but I feel like because I've read all of the like Throne of Glass, at least the last four books in a row, I need some spice now. Like I, I need some spice, guys, I am deprived. Because of that, I was actually sitting on my computer, like yesterday, I think it was, and putting lots of more books in my Amazon card. I've put so much spice in that card. It's it's just, it's not even, it's, it's not even looking healthy. Like it looks like a one-way ticket to therapy. Um, <laughs> and I realized I cannot check out because we can first do that when we move, because it's probably gonna arrive like on different times, both before and after our move, so. I think I can first press order in a couple of weeks. I know that people say that this is like better than a guitar for someone, but I just don't see it yet. And if I don't see it like seven books in, I just don't know if I am going to ever see it. I actually have been pondering a little bit more about that whole book channel thing. And I think I really like the idea, um, but I'm extremely opinionated like extremely opinionated and, and and I'm going to like sound extreme I think so I'm worried what people will think because Carrie told me that people have very clear idea of their like thoughts on books <laughs> I don't know will I survive a book channel and do you think I should like would you like to see that because then also I could stop talking about books on this channel and you know maybe spare the people who aren't really interested in books for listening to me here on this channel but let me know down below i'm gonna keep reading for now drink some tea yeah